Are you sure you've chosen the right areas of study or is it time to consult a good career counselor? What's the new normal in the job market? As a young professional, are you ready to adopt new corporate soft skills? Are you branding yourself well? And also, are you tracking what jobs are going to disappear in the post-pandemic world and those that are going to be high in demand? Well, to answer these questions, we've spoken to some experts, professionals, people with fast career journeys, and those about to enter one. We don't have a crystal ball but we can envisage a very different life after pandemic. The nature of work, workforce, workplace, as well as structure of forms will not be the same. A new novel will emerge once the dust of pandemic has settled. Nevertheless, the gloomy cloud of pandemic has a silver lining for the technology's savvy youth who are adept at mobility and social media. They are best placed to weather the storm through digital transformation that has progressed by leaps and bounds during pandemic. In new normal, progress towards a digital, digital economy will continue to reshape the global marketplace in the years ahead. We can see that tech tools such as Zoom, Slack, WhatsApp, and chatbots are already playing a central role in keeping society and business afloat. There is an increasing focus on advancement of machine learning, cloud computing, and Internet of Things. In this backdrop, we can expect unprecedented opportunities for professionals equipped with digital tools and technology to help business thrive well beyond pandemic. Silicon Valley firms have already outlined their hiring strategies to expand their talent pool beyond the employees living in San Francisco Bay Area. Other companies across a range of industries in both developed and developing economies are also expected to adopt similar forward-looking strategies to effectively respond to present and potential business challenges in a fast-moving world. This is high time for the professionals to position themselves in view of the ongoing seismic shift in business and technological landscape. I believe that uh, career planning is the difference between settling for a Monday 9 to 5 and doing what you love. Career planning can be done with the help of a counselor. Uh, we can plan our careers ourselves as well by looking five or ten years in the future and analyzing all the options that we have and where they may, may lead us. And also we should just keep on assessing all our options at all times so that we don't miss any opportunities. I've been working for over a year now and the most important thing that I've learned is the power of communicating effectively. Every initiative you take should have an end in mind a goal you have to achieve. In order to execute your vision, you have to be able to define and communicate the context, the purpose, the deliverables, and the timelines. The pandemic has woken us up to today's need for behavioral transformation. Lack of opportunities and layoffs will become a common place for those who don't have a career plan. You may not always get the job that you're looking for right away, especially in these circumstances. However, that does not mean that the time that you have to wait to get your dream job is wasted. You can make use of it. You can think of it as an opportunity. Uh, and in this opportunity, you can do various things such as learn new skills, you can start online classes, you can take up freelance work, anything to be productive. What are the steps to success? Well, mind mapping. Mind mapping your career plan to help you make knowledgeable decisions. Networking. It broadens your social circle, which is currently limited to vague interactions through social media. Be a project manager and form a focused group of like-minded, 
yet differently skilled folks to work collaboratively as a team. Keep diversity and inclusion at the center of what you do. It will make your team stand out. It is imperative to get reference letters from senior professionals and firms to be able to land larger projects. References plays a vital role in today's hiring process. In the COVID era, we have seen many people of the same experience and field are jobless. It's even harder for the recruiters to make a selection. Here, our good reference plays a potential role. As we might not be able to describe ourselves in a single paper, but people who have worked with us are the best to describe our pros and cons. Brainstorming your future, so in that way your future is kind of secure. You know what you have to do in future and what I believe is that every career has a different path and every path has a different lifestyle. So um, it's important to research about what you have to do in future because um, if you don't like doing something and you don't love doing it, you don't enjoy it, it's equivalent to working like a robot day and night without getting any outcome of it. As the pandemic reshapes the future of jobs worldwide, and professionals brace themselves for unique challenges, there's a lot to learn for academics and institutions as well. A World Bank report, Solutions for Youth Employment, released in 2020, stresses on mental health and increased psychosocial support. It is imperative to move away from traditional teaching and testing methods and more towards fair, customized, aptitude-based tests preparing learners for disaster and crisis management scenarios, scaling virtual operations and accelerating remote learning and encouraging micro-ventures. Taking these initiatives will ensure that we're producing leaders of tomorrow with great survivor skills. A path without destination is indefinitely long. If you don't have a clear set of goals in your mind, you're never going to achieve them. So it is important that you carefully pick out a path for you. You need to consider the, your long and short term goals. I think career planning is really important, primarily because it helps us understand and navigate and have a roadmap of what we want our career to look like in the next 10 years, along with not having any regret in the last 10 months. So it's also important that for this purpose, we take some measures beforehand and have a plan of where we want to go. So. Number one, I think we should have a strong LinkedIn profile and that means that we should be networking with the recruiters which are on that platform to secure a good job. Along with that, it's also important to focus on our strengths. For professionals, make a note of how initiatives you've taken are benefiting the firms. Take that strategic next step and learn the power of mind mapping. Learn to give impactful presentations and show your firm where future profits lie. Keep trying new things until you better understand the problem and arrive at a solution. Keeping these points in consideration can be helpful in career planning. In contrast of the challenges and opportunities offered by the changes in business and technological landscape. Technology is everywhere. Just listen to that message from the SpaceX company who successfully showed their mission is completed and they announced space is for everyone. Do you think that was possible without the use of technology? Seven out of the top 10 billionaires in the world have some sort of technology business. Jeff Bezos, Elon Musk, Bill Gates, Jack Ma, and name many others in the top 50 list or 100 list. Technology entrepreneurs are growing very fast. While there is post-pandemic pessimism, there are still sectors that are growing. Before jumping in for a job hunt, make sure you have done your research on key sectors in demand. For instance, healthcare, education, information technology, environment, and fast-moving consumer goods industry are some of the key sectors showing great trends for future. Currently, the paradigm and the base of the whole thing has shifted. Now, the boom is of digital media, right? People uh, would 
want to be in that uh, kind of a category because every business requires a digital marketer right now currently to sell their services or goods most of the companies who had an online store for them it will be easier to cope up with what they have lost and for the ones who did not have an online store for them it will be difficult and i want to start off by giving you and sending you good vibes and good luck i'm starting with that because i think you'll need it post covid more than ever before and the one message that i would give to everyone who's starting careers getting into businesses wanting to do the startups uh, do all the innovative stuff that has come out of this covid is present yourself with impact one way to go about this journey is to develop a startup it is a way to bring the future about consider potential opportunities in post covid world and choose a business you are passionate about a paradigm shift in career pathways has already taken place old fashion steady state jobs salary grades and time bound promotions have diminished in the face of increasing economic uncertainty business volatility and performance challenges in this context working on a startup provides very useful entrepreneurial experience that can support adaptation to the new normal volunteering offers another opportunity for getting real life experience while tackling the development problems including those in the areas of education healthcare food water energy and housing engaging actively with community and giving back to society so volunteering can boost your self confidence leadership qualities employability skills and performance track record that can provide a competitive edge in your career the bottom line is that we should get out of our comfort zone to play an active role in the real world without waiting for an ideal job and the sooner the better the pre pandemic job rates according to a research are not going to return any time before a decade however how prepared you are and how well you have identified and brushed your personal skills is what will define your future success